A South African pastor named Mostasoneng Mboro, I know I destroyed this, uh, has quite an interesting story to tell us about a spiritual experience that he had. Uh, he claims he went to heaven <laughs> and took pictures on his smartphone. So Rostor explains here, Originally, he was offering to show people the pictures for a small fee of about $340. Uh, this landed him in hot water with the law, so he decided he'd post them to Facebook for free! That was before meddling thieves at a car wash stole his phone and his pictures of heaven. So one of his bodyguards spoke to the press and said, The pictures were really there. I saw them. We suspect one of the boys washing the Prophet's car took the phone. I like how they call him the Prophet and expect us to take them seriously. Uh, but they all denied taking it, even after we threatened them. All those who have uh, deposited money, deposited money, will be refunded. Yeah, I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> Look at how shameless this is, man. It is so shameless. He says, "I went to heaven. I got pictures on my phone. I'm gonna charge you 340 bucks to see it." And then when people are like, "Hey, what the fuck is going on here, man?" He's like, "All right, all right. I'm in trouble with the law now. Uh, I'll post it all on Facebook for free." And then. <laughs> And then he's like, oh, shucks, I lost my phone, man. It was stolen by thieves at the car wash. They went and spoke to people at the car wash, too. They're like, what the fuck is he talking? What? No, none of that ever happened. What is he saying? The bodyguard's like, I saw it. I saw the pictures. Totally, he didn't make it up. He didn't make it up at all. I don't know what you mean. Why would he make that up? It's not going to make that up. What about the $340 he got when he showed people at the beginning? Nah, nah, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. But this is... Okay, so people read this and they'll go, this is a cult, right? Like, that's what he is. He's, he's running a cult. It's a Christian cult. But is it really that much different for all religion? I know this makes me a dick. And I'm not saying all religious people are bad people. Of course not. The overwhelming majority of religious people are good people. And they just mean well. They don't want to hurt anybody. They don't want to do anything wrong. So I get all that. But is it not fair to say you guys are wrong and you've been duped? No, I think that's very fair to say. Because this guy's I went, I went to heaven. I took pictures. I was there. I was there. I'm the prophet. I went. Okay, the only thing that separates somebody like this from Jesus or Muhammad or any other, you know, God slash prophet slash whatever is time. So I said it before, but imagine years in the future. There's some sort of nuclear holocaust. People die, but then we rebound. There's enough people that survive, and then they rebound, and then human population comes back. Hum human civilization comes back. But we lost all of our knowledge and history and all this stuff. And then people stumble across, like, a DVD of David Blaine or Chris Angel. They'd go, that's God. That's God. It's God. Look, he's fucking floating in air. He stayed underwater for eight years, whatever the fuck it is. All the tricks they do. Yeah, you don't think that Jesus or Muhammad or the rest of prophets and so-called gods, that they were fucking con artists and they were magicians and they were shit like that? Of course they were. Obviously that's what they were. And then now, since we have technology and science and skeptical people, they look at this jackass and they're like, oh, you're a liar. You say you went to heaven, you say you took pictures, you didn't. It's all made up. Well, you don't think it was fucking made up for them, too? Of course it was made up. The only thing that separates this guy from the so-called prophets and religious leaders of the past is time. That's it. All a religion is, is a big cult. That's it. I get it, man. Again, don't get me wrong. The overwhelming majority of religious people are good people. They are. They are. But that doesn't mean that they're not wrong about what they've bought into. That's also true. And we can all laugh at this guy, but just remember, if your response to, to this is, oh, that's so stupid and so silly, but obviously the guy who walked on water and turned water into wine, and there was the book with the guy who lived to age 900 and got every animal on a boat and saved the world, that's all true. The guy who was on the flying donkey to heaven, that's totally true, and with the talking feet and the talking hands, that's total. all that's true, but obviously this guy's doing, he went to heaven, ha, <laughs> my ass, he went to heaven, ha, <laughs> he's so stupid. What are you then? What are you?